friend. Uh, they had competitive gaming, and now they're announcing a brand new mode called Salary Cap Ranked Beta. So it sounds like where is it? In the coming weeks, so in the coming weeks they'll be having this new mode out there. Salary Cap Ranked Beta is not just a new game mode; it's a fundamental change that is felt throughout Madden Ultimate Team. Uh, what it's going to do is assign a cap value to every player and redefine how you assemble a lineup. Um, you can still play with your normal lineup, but if you want, salary cap rank beta is a new test to see if you can be as skilled as other players on the field, which I like. Um, so cap value, it looks like each player will have a cap value on their item. Um, and so as you guys know, what we do when we look for budget players is we try and avoid looking at the OVR. And we just look to see you know, what's the numbers on the back of the card, in what position I'm going to put that player, and how is he going to perform when I put that player in that position at that time on that play for that price. And that's how we break down lineups. Um, let's read the chat real quick. Um, so do you use... Okay, so I'll get all these questions written down. Do you use your own mud team? Can you play any player in the game? Um, talk about how salary cap, cap points can and will change. Yep, email... Uh, Send me all these questions, guys, on Twitter. And I'll make sure I get any answers you guys need. Um, I don't have any answers. I only have opinions at this time, but I will get rock-solid stuff. I'm just reading the blog now and kind of thinking over what my opinions are. All right, here we go. It's no secret. So with that in mind, we crafted individual formulas to create a cap value for every player in MUT. Okay, so... Um, player with lower OVR will have a similar and potentially higher cap value. So obviously you guys all knew about Zadarius Smith. If you've watched the stream, we were big fans of Zadarius Smith, Schefter star. A lot of people put him at multiple positions on the defensive line. He stopped the run really well. He's just a good, good player. Also, a lot of you guys know that Cam Wake, when he came out, I wasn't a huge fan of. I felt like while he had very high power rush move, he was kind of weak and slow because of his age. And, um, I didn't personally use him on my squad, but he still has uh, use. It's just finding the right use. So it looks like Zadarius Smith's going to have a 52 cap value in Cameron Wake, who is, I think, seven points higher in OVR, has a lower cap value. So that's a new way of determining value. Um, I think the biggest takeaway from salary cap ranked uh, in the coming weeks. When I ask players who will be on every salary cap ranked team, I asked Twitter, I said, who do you guys expect to see on every salary cap ranked team? Everyone sent me Trey Archer, Mariota, Amari Cooper, Zadarius Smith. They sent me budget players. I think they read salary cap and they thought budget players. Um, in my opinion, I don't see it going that way because in this example, a budget player, Sedarius Smith, is going to cost you more than a non-budget player, Cameron Wake. And I'm speaking to budget not in coins, but in cap value number. Um, so you've got to figure out a best way to get the lineup in there. I don't know who the players are going to be, but I think the budget players everybody knows and was sending me, I don't know if it's going to go that way. Um, I'll have sample lineups hopefully on this YouTube channel, so make sure to follow if you haven't. But um, let's see. So we have events for salary cap, similar to draft champions, how you lock in. Um, it looks like it's going to be a 34-man roster, so 34 lineups. 
uh, they're going to have a thousand total, a thousand point cap total. So here's a sample lineup you see on the right side of the screen here. 32 players are on your base team, and then two players are flex players. Um, with flex players, you can put them in a couple different positions, like a second running back, it looks like, or um, you know, an extra defensive back. And so that's going to change how you play, who you play, why you play. Um, you only have this many items on your team, so you want to kind of study up on this, see who you need. If you play a 3-4, maybe you don't need that second DT. If you play a 4-3, maybe you don't need that second MLB. And you can, um, you have to, it looks like you have to take those, but you don't have to maybe spend as much if they're not really going to play on the field. Um, looks like the last piece they talk about here is stamina. Uh, injuries are off, and fat fatigue is at a slower rate. So you won't fatigue like you will at a normal game, but fatigue is still on. So um, looks like they've paid attention to it, and we'll have to manage our roster. So let me see any other questions you guys have about the salary cap ranked. Let me know. I'm with JF Keep. He thinks well-rounded cards are going to be more valuable. We'll see um, how that's working. If well-rounded cards are end up going to cost you more. Um, in my opinion, I think speed is going to be less valuable than in regular Ultimate Team. Um, only because everybody wants guys with speed, usually. But in salary cap mode, okay, if a guy like Cameron Wake is going for less, but he's not as fast, but he still has very, very high like power move, I think maybe you get some value there. Maybe. I don't know. I'm still waiting to see the full list of all the prices uh, of the cap values. And we'll have to determine. But um, we're going to have to see. The other big note is Journey for Solos. Are coming out so um, I know you guys are pretty pumped about journey for solos um, so it looks like a keep to is the final journey master reward you're gonna unlock 11 players and you're gonna be salary cap based so you're going to want to check that out uh, if you're into uh, solo challenges cool journey for solos who will be grinding those you guys got plans It'd be cool if the Talib was like um, J. Reed Vicks pump for Journey 4. So that's the news I got on Salary Cap Rank for you. Like I said, if you guys have questions, please, please, please tweet me your questions, email them to me. I'll do my best to get them answered. I know this blog packed a lot of information. I kind of just tried to read through it right there, pop in a little bit of an opinion, but until I really get my hands on it, guys, I don't know exactly how it will work, how it will play, how the lineups will be, but you can be assured when I do, I would, uh, I'll have lineups and examples of stuff. So in the coming month, in the coming weeks, that's what the blog said, we shall 